We're now going to talk about simplifying radicals using the laws of exponents. And so to start with, I want to get the laws of exponents up, and it's really helpful if, as you're working these problems, you can keep something like this out in front of you so it's easy to find. So here's all the laws of exponents that we've talked about way back in chapter 4. And so as we're looking at these laws of exponents, we see the zero exponent rule, the negative exponent rule where we turn it into a fraction, the product rule, the quotient rule with the subtraction going on, the power rule with multiplication, the product to a power rule where we distribute powers over multiplication, the quotient rule, and the negative quotient rule. We're going to use these exponents today to simplify radicals. And so we're going to start with some examples. Suppose we have 27 to the 1 half times 27 to the 5 6. And this is going to use the product rule. And the product rule, remember, says a to the r times a to the s is a to the r plus s. So we're going to get 27 to the 1 half plus 5 6. Now, in order to add exponents, we need to or add numbers, fractions. We need to get the same power, so it becomes 3 6 plus 5 6 which is 27 to the 8 6 reduce our fraction like we always do when we have fractions and we get 4 thirds. Now we can use what we learned at the end of the last lecture and get the cube root of 27 to the 4th which is 3 to the 4th and so my final answer for this is 81. We can take it all the way down because we're able to combine these powers. Likewise if we need to we can look at 8 to the one-third over eight to the four-thirds. This is going to use the quotient rule where we subtract. Since our bottom is bigger, we're going to get one over eight to the four-thirds minus one-third, which is one to eight to the three-thirds, which is one to the eighth, and we are done. A couple more examples. Suppose we have 36 to the two-fifths raised to the five-fourths. Well, this just means we get 36 to the 2 fifths times 5 fourths. We simplify our fraction. We have 1's on top and a single 2 on bottom, so this becomes 36 to the 1 half. Same as the square root of 36, and we end up with just a 6. The last example that I want to look at is a more complex one. Suppose we have 9xy to the 4 thirds over x to the 5 sixths, y to the minus 2 thirds. We're going to raise this all to the 1 half power. Well, the first thing we want to do is start inside and, and work our way through. Remember that this x is to the first power, and since we've got a 6 on the bottom, we put a 6 over 6 on top. The 9 is going to stay alone. 6 is bigger than 5, so we're going to stay on top. 6 6 minus 5 6 is 1 6. The 4 thirds and the minus 2 thirds, again, this comes up to the top and becomes a positive 2 thirds, so we're going to add 2 thirds. So we're going to get y to the 6 thirds. And we've now simplified inside the parentheses, and 6 thirds is, of course, 2. So now we distribute the 1 half, so we get 9 to the 1 half times x to the 1 sixth times y squared times 1 sixth times 1 half. And so we get 3 squared to 9, x to the 1 twelfth, y, as our answer. And so if we use these laws of exponents that we've already learned and remember how to deal with fractions, we can simplify using the laws of exponents. And again, if you don't already have this page handy, I'd make sure I had it out when I was doing the homework.